This video is going to walk you through the Power Process Tool for Sociology. My name is Erin Cole and I've been teaching Intro to Sociology since 2005. I currently teach at Bucks County Community College in Pennsylvania, which is right outside of Philadelphia. And I've been using Connect for the past several semesters. Power Process is a hands-on tool within Connect where students can review, and analyze articles to improve critical reading and critical thinking skills. This video is going to walk you through how to set up the assignment and what the assignment looks like from a student view. Once you're in a Connect, you're going to hit Add Assignment and scroll down to Power of Process. You will see once you're in the assignment, you have three options. You can upload your own articles, you could ask students to find articles to upload, or you could select a document from the preloaded list. And these are all classic sociology articles that cover a wide range of topics that would be discussed in an Intro to Sociology course. So we're going to focus in on this article right here, The Five Sexes Why Male and Female Are Not Enough. You will see once we get into the assignment that reading strategies are broken down into before reading, during reading, and after reading. Um, so before students even start reading the article, we're going to ask them to consider the title. Right? The other thing I want my students to do is recognize any prior knowledge they have about the topic. And um, you will see here that you will have two options. You could either have a text response or annotation where they require to highlight and then add comments. With, during the reading, I want my students to highlight any new vocabulary. I also want them to highlight important information and annotate. And then I want them to identify the author's position, which I believe is important, especially when we are talking about sociology articles. And you'll see here when you add a new strategy, it's going to adjust the wheel. After reading, I'm going to ask my students to recall and summarize what they've just read. I'm going to uncheck research findings and diversity because I want them to um, develop an argument. And if you put in here, develop an argument, and then if you click on the actual thing, you'll see that you could actually add um, your, own, your own criteria if you want something more specific. So I'm going to ask them to list three reasons to support your argument. So that's nice and clear. The other thing that I want to do is I want to add another criteria here on current events and get them to relate it back to current events. Okay, and here I'm going to ask them to relate the art, this article to current events so they make the connection outside of the course. You'll see that our reading wheel is complete here, so we're going to assign it and then look at it from the student's view. So when students come into the assignment, they're going to be asked to select a strategy and be informed that they can return to the, any strategy as many times as they want. So we're going to consider the title. What does the title make you think the article will discuss? And that there are more than two sexes. Okay, and the next thing we would do is we would go in and ask the students to write what they already know about this topic. Once we get into the assignment, the students are going to be asked to highlight new vocabulary, and we're going to scroll down here. Okay, I'm going to find my new vocabulary and highlight it, and then write, these are the categories and definitions for the five sex system. I'm going to save that, save it again here, and move into the next reading strategy where I'm going to highlight important information, and then also I'm going to identify the author's position. After the reading, I'm going to recall and summarize what I just read. I'm going to develop my own argument, and then the last thing that I'm going to ask, that I'm being asked to do, is to relate this to current events. Once I have completed each of these reading strategies, this circle is going to turn green, and I'm going to be able to reflect on this process. So I'll be asked to analyze uh, my process and what strategies I have used. I could then see a summary of all my responses and all my highlighting, and then go ahead and submit my assignment. So I hope this video was useful in showing you this power process tool and how can it be used in your course. It's just a really good way to get students to focus in on the article, focus their attention on finding the most important information 
finding those positions and those main arguments, and then afterwards being able to recall and paraphrase what they read about, but also get to that higher level of thinking where they're developing their own arguments and relating back to current events.